today I am coming back to you with another review. And today's review we are going to talk about Astrans. But before we do, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're not, because I'm dropping gems every single day. We are going to review this project and see whether they are legit or not. Stay tuned. The whole thing when it comes to evaluating any project is to go and see how they react to questions. How do they react to criticism? Today we are going to dig way deeper than just the social media and really follow the steps and see who they are really when it comes to answering critics and also understand how a very high project pop off out of nowhere can't claim to be the next ape club in the NFT space when in reality they are quickly turned out to be just a suspicious project out there. Now I'm not claiming they are a scam, at least not yet, but there are really something a little foggy, little mysterious, annoying is going on with this team of this project so without further ado let's go and dive into the review of this project but before I do please if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so you'll be notified every single time I release a new video and make sure to share this video and above all gives it a thumbs up let's go so First thing first, let's go to their website. As soon as we go to their website, well, they try to make it as simplistic as possible, but this is not what we are after. We go to menu, go to read their roadmap. Now their roadmap, it is something that we are interested in, really. Why? Because in the roadmap, you can tell whether someone is actually doing what they are supposed to be doing or if they are deviating from their own roadmap. And we can tell that right away. We go to something called space map. That's what they like to call it. <laughs> Let's take a look at their space map, shall we? Phase 1. In the phase 1, they claim that the community building will take place. Launch 20,000 giveaway. Organic marketing growth tactics. Projects of liberty and influence partnership. We will talk about that in just a minute. 250 Astro Heads held in the reserve for marketing. 300 whitelisted spots given to people and giveaways and so on and so forth. So this is nothing really going on in phase one except that pretty much marketing, community building. Now in phase one, before we move to phase two, the marketing that they talk about is literally a youtuber or two I don't want to mention their names yet but I'm really really closely monitoring the whole movie that we are watching right now that's called Astra Hat so they pushed the phase one marketing through a one to two probably three youtubers at first 
that hyped the project that one of the best NFT project out there now. Now, are they in the bed with these users? I don't know. But it sounds a little suspicious as the project gain quick hype build over 20,000 members and quickly unfold phase two the phase two it's something that grabbed my attention in phase two they say that after sold out 150 plus ETH will be reinvested to our partnership hires and marketing campaigns now stay with me after selling over 150 ETH so let's calculate that how much that will will be so 150 ETH multiplied by 4000 average let's see how much that will be Talking about six hundred thousand dollars. You with me? Okay. Let's continue. Now I want you to hold that number. So after selling over 150 ETH, we will be reinvesting towards per hires, partnerships, and marketing campaigns. Astra Academies is set up at the completion of mint this marks the start of our first school build in nepal now this is something very interesting if you are a new project you want to explode in popularity and you want to do something that like you know makes you look good first thing first you are going to do charity work and yes, I understand this is a good thing. In fact, I applaud you for doing such thing. Not only to you, but for every single project out there. Because I'm a big believer in charity work. However, upon some preliminary research, the charity that they're claiming that they are already working with not really so sure that this project is really behind building the school mm. and it's not so good it sounds a little bit fishy to me let's continue there's going to be a community fund next community fund formed for everyone that delist their astro heads within 24 hours after mint a friend who actually minted i have friends who actually get whitelisted and the what they are talking about here which is pretty much they created a pool and out of the first transactions in the first two weeks from the minting day until 14th day after minting day every single nft the revenue from these selling nfts will go toward that pool and at the end of the 14 days there will be redistribution of that funds to the people who never listed their nft at first place so let me recap if you minted the astro hands and you delist so that means you never ever listed your NFTs, your Astro Heads, at the end of the 14 days from the day of minting, you will be receiving a portion of that selling volume as a refund. And actually, I went into their Discord and I saw firsthand the amount of frustration and the amount of really delay unclear path that they were taking they kept delaying and delaying and delaying the redistribution of the funds i would say a couple of days and 
and even the mechanism that they took to do this redistribution was really a mediocre. Like any kid, high school kid can do better. And these people advertise themselves as being X e-commerce successful top notch. Now I'm not saying they're not because we don't know these guys really. Only what we have is just like an NFT pictures. They never even list their real pictures, real faces. However, what I'm doing here is doing an honest live review. Stay in my own opinion, and we'll let you to judge. Moving forward, level two the community funds after 24 hours will start, as we said. 100% of secondary sales go to the community fund first two weeks and distributed between all funds members in graduation day. Graduation. A level one mass marketing campaign begins prior to graduation. Viral marketing campaign initiated. I have to tell you something here. Remember when I told you I sneaked in into their Discord and like you know what's going on? Their updates. Four days were they were completely silent. When it comes to announcement, and people were frustrating inside the Discord, as of what's going on, they kept changing their graduation thing from the amount that you need to burn to the actual mechanism to the actual rewards. So the first plan was they are going to create a new art altogether, right? So if you actually minted. Let's say for our five or ten NFTs at first. The first plan that they actually advertised in their roadmap, and I don't know if I'm reading their roadmap correctly here or not, but when you say a graduation day, so the first thing that they that they said is that if you minted NFTs and you want to burn them. You're gonna receive a new art, new NFT with a new value. That will really get people excited. As of okay, if I minted the NFTs, Astra Heads, and I didn't really land that rare ones, now I have a second shot with a new art. I can get a new one. Heck, I might end up being so lucky. To get a very unique one that worth maybe ten ETH, fifty ETH, who knows? At the very beginning, that was the actual plan, but then later they changed it to, okay, we are not going to do a new art. Guess what? You still need to burn. However, we are going to keep the same original, and the excuse was. Okay, the developers are going to focus too much on the new art, creating new art, and we don't want to devalue the first original. Understandable, in some point. However, that gets a lot of people upset, and I was watching for the whole time. I was really like, hmm, the team is actually taking. The wrong direction here. There are too many people involved in the decision making. Now their excuse was back then to their community that the community actually wanted this. However, I don't know if we have the actual Discord. If I can show it to you. But I remember when they announced that, you can clearly see from their actions that the community wasn't really happy. Phase 
three. Now, moving to phase three. Seven days after mint, the graduation event will be revealed. Correct. That really happened. However, lots of people again faced enormous amount of issues. People weren't receiving their NFTs updated. See, their plan was really three tiers. Cadet, astronauts, and board members. With Cadet, if you minted your NFT, you don't need to burn. All what you need to do, really, is just fill up the Google form and tell them exactly what NFT you hold that you need to get it updated. And the update was that they are going to dress your NFT with a suit. Okay. If you are an astronaut, you need to burn certain numbers of NFTs. I believe there were two or three. And they were, again, dress your NFT with a cyber suit. And the board members, they were announced at first that they will be not only being part of the decisions, keep in mind, both astronauts, tier and the board members tiers, they will be involved in their pool decision making. And the whole decision making supposedly on taking that project and is chairing it. So the board member first, when they announced these three tiers, they were supposed to be getting a portion of that pool because what they are planning on doing is that out of that pool they're going to be funding projects nft projects that comes to them right so if you have an nft project out of that nft out of that pool that they created they are going to fund nft projects so imagine what they are trying to do here is trying to do like a shark tank you know kind of things before the nft now it's a smart idea you get a lot of people hyped up about it you can be a millionaire billionaire however first they announced that the board members will get a portion of every single successful investment that comes to their pool that they are actually going to sit like you know stand behind however apart from that initial um initial announcement sort of speak so they said all right so there isn't really a guarantee thing you just need to keep that in mind right again a lot are like you know starting to build up and i was watching the whole thing you know and i'm still watching this is not an end review this is just my first review first honest review so from the delay of the reform, from the, the delay and change of plan on the graduation, from the actual ways that they are rolling out these features and these updates for the NFTs, a lot of frustration, a lot of people left their server, a lot of banning, a lot of uh, shit talking whenever you are asking real questions, uh, when you criticize the the team um so all of these hints and like you know put you in a direction clear path that what you are talking about here what you're dealing with here they don't know exactly what they're doing they're just making things up on the fly now you are more than welcome to prove me wrong. However, we are forming our own opinion from your own actions. So if there is anything wrong here, is that your actions are actually the ones that need to be reformulated. Moving to phase four. Now phase four, but before I move to phase four, but before I move to phase four, if you like these videos, make sure to give that that thumbs up. Make sure to give that 
thumb like if you like these videos make sure to give me the thumb like if you like these videos make sure to give me the like subscribe and hit that notification button so every single time i release a new video you will be notified right away so you don't miss any of my videos thank you so much in terms of the marketing there isn't any real marketing happened i haven't really heard anything on this project from famous youtuber youtuber um like you know a channel anything like that when they were talking about remember when they were talking about 150 ETH? the reality was that they said themselves that they secured at the first day of minting five over 500k so they really close to that 600 if not more but we haven't really heard anything from them we haven't really seen any massive um as they as they say massive marketing campaign where is it why we are not seeing any actions why when every single time someone asks about this specific thing you are shit talking on him you are discrediting him i have no idea but all of these things hints to one thing that there is something going on not right and we need to be ready if this goes south so stay tuned a roadmap phase four guess what will be revealed post mint we are talking about um, i would say a month you know a couple days less maybe at the time of recording this video and we haven't seen really anything at phase four no update again another thing that we need to keep in mind a little foggy the fog starts to get so dense that i cannot see really and i hate when i cannot see clearly funding new schools in impoverished countries and we talked about that nepal thing with their charity we need more clarifications if you are working with charity why not listing their names why not having a trip over there even if it's virtual and make a recording video why everything needs to be in a dark suspicious again the team i understand you know it's the cool thing now in the crypto uh, especially in the nft to have a theme um of the cartoonish you know you don't reveal faces anonymous you know get people attention right but when you get a lot of a lot of delays and changing plans and not reading not reading the community rights and also missing hitting your targets even worse changing your targets on the on the go i need to see some faces here i can mention so many nft projects that are doing 100 times better than this one and they have a real people behind it in fact they have a so real people that we can actually see and talk to and ask questions uh all the time i'm not seeing any faces here i'm not seeing any recording videos i'm not seeing any interviews all of what i'm seeing a bunch of nfts cartoonish ones and hearing voices behind the scene from these from this team so transparency is definitely a lacking factor here we go to the open sea so let's go to the open sea all right let's go to open sea now all right let's
let's go to OpenSea now. Let's see if we can find something that is really interesting in their OpenSea account. And we go there. Let me just change something here real quick. Let's go and see their OpenSea. All right. So keep in mind, this project has a minting price of 0.0, oh, you with me? 6.5. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, if you go to their Discord, you can see that. 0.065. I believe they lowered it when they had the minting to... 0.045 don't really quote me on that but what I'm seeing here I'm seeing a price floor price of 0.03 now, definitely I know for sure that this is below maintain price so that's a signal of right there my friend I don't need to say more You got close to 4,000 owners. You got 8.9K items listed in a volume of 392 ETH being traded, buying and selling. You go and take a look at all of these um, NFTs. You can clearly see some of them, they really own that board member because they have the crown thing. And the astronauts they have the cyber suit yeah really and you take a look at these ETH um, like you know the the actual bits for them and the price for these NFTs are mediocre the way below minting price this is just a disaster if I mint if I if I go into a project I want to like you know make money I wanna go to a project I want to mint I want to be the first who who go out there and mint I want to flip them I want to make money quickly like that my friend this is a crypto market I don't know about you if you are a holder for an NFT but when it comes to NFT to me it's really risky because it's illiquid it's something that it doesn't have a price point the price point for an NFT is what the other person is willing to pay for it. There's really nothing out there in the crypto world right now to price your NFT. All the things that you are hearing, all the things that you are seeing right now about, oh yes, this protocol, oh yes, that community, oh yes, that project, all of them are subjective, my friends. So be very careful. When you play with NFTs to me if I want to go into a project I want to mint I want to flip right away double my price in and out quickly if the project moons congratulations to all the holders but today I'm not a holder especially with Astro Hat. keep looking at the floor price complete disaster you go to the likes you got a lot of people who are actually um, liking some of them but however just the art they're not willing to pay the whole the whole transactions are actually below the maintain price if I'm a holder I probably would think it twice right now as of what it will be the access strategy. So, in short, so what is my latest intake? So, what is my final intake on Astrohead's NFT? Are they legit? Are they not? Well, to me, they have a mounting of bad uh, doing or at least unclear decisions making history 
uh, that speaks to me that they're having a lack of leadership, lack of clear vision in terms of where they need to take this project. And it's a bit risky, becomes more and more risky uh, with time. Uh, I need to see more good actions coming out of the team. I need to see that massive marketing that they promised that they will be doing. I need to see the floor price goes way above the minimum price. If I see these things, yes, I might consider them. But for now, it's a bit risky. If I'm in already, I want to, like, you know, an exit strategy now. Um, unfortunately, I'm not a holder and I'm not planning to be. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Thank you.